All right, this should be interesting. I'm trying to do this right off of my Promethean in class. i um, going to talk about the five big mass extinctions. The first one is the Ordovician Silurian. And if you look at the geologic time scale, we can isolate that one as being right in between these two periods here. And you will find that the names of the mass extinctions coincide with um, the division of the periods that um, that ended and began because of that mass extinction. Now the Ordovician um, was the second largest mass extinction um, due to uh, massive glaciation and also thought to be from uh, falling sea levels. All right, and they're really not quite certain as to um, how this occurred, but one possible theory, interesting theory, is um, kind of what we would consider a global cooling. And we talk a lot about global warming where uh, we increase CO2 levels, but in this instance, there was such a flourishing of green plant life that the plants actually overwhelmed the atmosphere and reduced the CO2 levels and that decreased of course the ability for the atmosphere to hold its heat and so um, our green plants was actually a detriment to the earth at that time because it didn't allow for the CO2 to keep our atmosphere warm. Um, so um, that's one interesting theory of global cooling in, in this period. All right, moving on. Let's clear this. Go on to the next slide. Number two, the late Devonian. And so that would be, oh, around here, later on in the Devonian period. Um, and again, this was due to a climate change where uh, temperatures dropped. And possible causes of that, and this is kind of a recurring theme, is volcanic activity, as well as a possible um, asteroid impact. And you're going to find that these two um, causes kind of repeat itself as to possible causes of all of these mass extinctions. And um, maybe we'll have time to discuss why that might be the case. All right, moving on to the big one, number three, the Permian, Tri Permian Triassic, or the PT. And this is actually the largest mass extinction. All right, it is sometimes called the Great, the Great Death. It was the largest. of all the mass extinctions where like 95 percent of all marine animals all right we lost 95 percent of all marine animals I think it was 65 percent of other species um, but it was a huge one and its cause was thought to be a massive massive volcanic activity activity and of course you know it's not from one volcano it's from several volcanoes erupting over and over and over again and um, there's this section of I forget what it was called but um, there's this mass of lava that covers I think 2.7 million um, square miles, which is, I think, about about the size of Australia, I think. About the size of Australia. I've also heard it compared to the the size of Western Europe. 
So, I mean, just a huge amount of volcanic activity. And when it happens, you know, all kinds of gases reach the atmosphere as well as, well as ash and dust, and it can lead to a huge climate climate change and so that will in turn affect whatever is living on earth um, so Permian Triassic or the PT they call it was the the big one um, and then we'll move on to number four which is the Triassic Jurassic and that would be right in here okay Triassic Jurassic um, again caused probably by massive volcanic activity. Okay, um, I think, I forget the reference that I have, but in my notes I see it says 4.2 million square miles, all right, which is about the size of Canada. Okay, about the size of Canada, so a huge amount of volcanic activity. And it, interesting enough, I'm not quite sure why, but um, this is the one mass extinction that, um, <laughs> I just noticed I spelled that wrong, um, the one mass extinction that really isn't being studied um, as extensively as the other mass extinctions. As to why that is, I'm not quite sure, uh, but the Triassic-Jurassic. And then... The last one is the one that you're probably most familiar with, and that's the Cretaceous Tertiary, or the KT extinction, as it's um, known for, or known as. And this is, this is the one that killed those dinosaurs. Alright, and it's attributed to an asteroid strike. And one of the clues that they have uh, to help prove this theory is the presence of a layer that's been found, a layer of iridium. And iridium is an element that is rare on Earth, but can be found, found readily in space. And... Um, Geologists and paleontologists have found that during this certain period of time, um, between the Cretaceous and Tertiary, that would be right here, okay, Cretaceous and Tertiary, that there is this layer, this constant layer of iridium um, that would kind of coincide with uh, an asteroid strike that would bring that iridium to the Earth. And so it would strike and then hit and then lay down and lay down a layer of this iridium and would mark a history, a, po a point in time where an asteroid would have stricken the Earth. And it coincides with um, the, the loss of any evidence of dinosaurs after that iridium strike. All right, so we have our five, okay, and they are found right here and then here. And then, let's see, there's number three. And where's the next one? I kind of forget here. Um, Premium Triassic. And then the Triassic Jurassic right here. And then the famous one right here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. And again, one of the common themes are volcanic activity okay and volcanic activity not only will um, spew ashes and dust into into the atmosphere but also um, can also give off poisonous poison gases which might also contribute to um, extinctions and then um, meteor asteroid strikes <coughs> all 
writing fast here, trying to speed this video up. Asteroid strikes, and again, um, the kicking up of dust, particles, and dirt, uh, dust and other materials into the atmosphere. Okay, and something that you know people don't think about, or maybe it's not mentioned very much, but if that asteroid strikes the ocean. Um, which they think the strike did hit that killed the dinosaurs in, in the KT, um, then, you know, as long as just like an earthquake with a huge asteroid striking, striking the Earth, then, you know, we're probably facing some tsunami problems as well. Okay, so um, one through five, go through them again. The ones that I'm probably you know we're primarily concentrating on are the uh is this one on the KT and this one the PT okay this was the largest and this one's probably the most famous all right hope that helped